Because no matter uh, how much we debate, no matter how much we disagree, we always have been able to come together as friends of Ireland. And, uh, you know, the friendship goes back centuries. But today is an important period, an important milestone. Nearly 100 years of diplomatic relations, Taoiseach, and every 100 years of Ireland and the United States. But I'm deeply grateful for Ireland's unwavering humanitarian aid to the people of not only Ukraine, but also Gaza. I'm committed to continue to do our part. I'm confident the vast majority — and excuse me for saying this, but I think a vast majority of members of Congress are willing to do their part and to continue to urge every member in this room to stand up to Vladimir Putin. He's a thug. He's a thug. And certainly, at this time, um, in many ways, our hearts are heavy in spite of the, of the, uh, the fund fellowship because stability is being threatened in Europe and in the Middle East, and our allies and friends, such as Israel and Taiwan, continue to fight for their very right to exist. I'm thinking of St. Patrick's prayer today for strength and protection against every cruel and merciless power. When I reflect on the war being waged by Russia against Ukraine, the light of democracy the rule of international law and liberty itself are under attack from a relentless adversary who would extinguish them. Ukraine must not fall, and together we need to stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes.